So, where have we up to now? I know the last time, you know, when um, in the in the previous stream and the previous exam video, uh, whatever you want to call it, which was exam number f six, the five hour exam, um, we landed in an Africa airport. Well, uh, and that we did right, but. Uh, to, I had to retake two exams because I failed them. Basically, my landing rating was greater than, and basically it was a fail. So basically what I did is I took off from Africa, the airport that we last left at, and offline I flew back to Barcelona, right? Um, and that was, that was that, and I passed that one, and then I went from, my, from Barcelona back to Iceland for the four-hour exam, and I passed that one as well. So I'm all caught up with my uh, licenses, um, this is the six hour flight license basically that we're doing today. Okay. So, yep, it's the six hour exam and it is also the first time we are a 21st officer. Now, what I wanted to do was I wanted to wear, but I think I'm going to save this from when I actually am a first officer, the epaulets. As you'll notice on screen, uh, it's got a different, uh, where is it? <laughs> here you'll notice there's like a different um epaulet thing on my shoulder and that's just to signify that i'm a trainee first officer so i've got the one stripe you know um and when i became when i become a fully fledged first officer i get two stripes anyway let's uh, crack in what i'm going to do is i'm just going to remove my camera now um <clears throat> so you don't have to look at my ugly mug let's crack on so here we are we are at Iceland and this is a plane and passengers will soon be getting on um, so trainee first officer got to sit in the first officer seat so this is the side of the aircraft we shall now be traveling on and everything will be operated from this side but obviously in terms of nav I've still got to use nav one which is this one here um, it's gonna be a little bit harder to see some of the stuff but should be okay um right so let's uh, let's get cracking really we got uh, to take off here uh it's 7:42 and we leave in 45 minutes so oh dear we need to get cracking um right let's get some battery power into this puppy shall we uh la, 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 battery Kilo, Quebec, November, Ooh. Tango, Airport Information, Hotel, zero, the, seven, zero, the zero, Atis. Zulu, Weather, Wind, one, six, two, at, eight, Visibility, one, zero, thousand, Sky Condition, few clouds at, two, thousand, eight, hundred, Ceiling, six, thousand, five, Kilo, Quebec, November, Tango, Airport Information. Okay, that's that then. That's cool. Um, right, so what else we got? They got the, that's the battery on. Um, we need to set that to standby power. Oops, the other way, and give me the twenty-eight volts. Yep, it is, and the AC volts as well. Uh, make sure these pumps are all kind of turned off. Uh, off, 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 off. Yep, and off. Right, let's get our clearance, actually. That will help. Clearance delivery, BCC7378, with the information request clearance. BCC7378, clear to KADL via RAL Oscar 4, Bravo, departure, and then as filed. Climb and maintain. Flight level 80, expect flight level 350 within 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119 decimal 3. Squawk 2343. QNH 1009R. Oh, I haven't even listened to any of that. Runway 10. Fail, man. BCC7378. Read back correct. Contact ground control on 121.9R. Do you like all that? I call that a fail straight away. 
I mean, I didn't hear any of that. I wasn't listening. Right. Let me see here. We're taking off from Runway 10. I got that. We're taking the Sid Rallo uh, 4B. 4-8, sorry. Um, oh, this bloody sound. Uh, transition cleared for 7,000 uh, feet, was it? Uh, going up to 35. Um, and that's about as much as I got. Oh, sorry, out 8,000. 8,000 cleared to. Um, squawking 2-4. 2-3-4-3. 2-3-4-3. Um, and we're squawking two, yeah, two, sorry, our squawk code was two, three, four, three, and the Q and H was one, zero, zero, nine. Okay. That's, that's the information I should have listened. I didn't, my fault. All right. Okay. We need ground power. Uh, let's get that going. Let me turn that on. No ground power. Dude, what's wrong with my plane? Why haven't I got ground power? Because uh, I haven't asked them to connect it up first, to be honest. That's why. Connected. That's why. There we go. Right, now we've got ground power. Now I can continue on this one. And that one can be for whatever. Uh, so return that. Uh, the doors, we need to open that. Open... Right, we need to request. Can't bloody see. Open. 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 Right. Let's request uh, the fuel and the um, catering service. Right, so cargo doors, open equipment hatch, open all them three. They're doing that. We need to sort out our fuel. So, um, let me just turn on that as well. And that. Because we now will be using self-loading cargo for the remaining... I mean, that's it. We'll basically be using self-loading cargo. Um, so we're not British Airways. Oh, which sound pack, right? Well, we use EasyJet. Um, default. VCC 7378. Squawk 2343. Squawk 2343. VCC 7378. 2343. I really wish the sounds were, didn't bite it here. Let's give it up. Right, there we go. <sighs> okay. Um, right, let's get our... Uh, what do you call it up? Our flight plan? How much fuel we could take in today? We're taking 46,000 pounds, mate. That is a full tank, that is. That's a full tank. So... Right, okay. So our load is 46100. 46100. Zero, zero. Hey, Hornetville, how's it going, mate? Ripperoni. I know, yeah. It's 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 so weird. I don't know what's going on. Um, right, we need to sort a flight plan out with this as well. Um, we are jet to Flight number 7378, cruising at 35,000, departing from Iceland, B-I-K, okay, if we're going to be late taking off, um, going to Atlanta in America, departing at, I would say now, Oh no, hang on. Seven it's ten to eight, so yeah, we could probably take off at eight thirty. Like that's our planned time. Man, what the hell is that loud noise? Is a helicopter landing on their plane? 
Man, that's loud. Okay, fuel truck's in position. Give me full fuel, mate. How is that invalid entry, man? For fuel. Four six one zero zero. How is that invalid? I mean, is, can it not take four six one zero? Because that's what I actually need. That's what my flight plan says, mate. Block fuel four six one zero zero. I mean, what's going on? Um, right. Arrival time. I haven't got a clue. Oh, import from Simbrief. We'll just do that. Duh. Actually, do you know what? I need to actually uh, bring up Simbrief downloader. Um, so. Yep. It says 3 o'clock here that we're, we're going to get in. That's not correct. Uh, it's actually going to be... 8.30, so change that. Which means if that was an hour and a half later, that's now 16.30. Squawk 2343. Squawk 2343. Yeah, I'm already squawking that. Right, payload, um, we're going to say random. Which means we have... Man, this flight's only got 66 passengers on it. Hey, and new sky, how's it going, mate? Um... I'm, I'm, guys, I'm, I'm okay. It's, I gotta get, gotta get out of here. 66 passengers on board. This flight ain't full. <laughs> okay. There's more fuel than there is passengers. 66 passengers on board this plane. Can you believe it? Right. We'll, we'll sort this out in a second. Um, they're fueling. Um, I think we can now ask for the boarding of the passengers. So, uh, request the boarding. And whilst we do that, so that's now set. That's all set. We're going to start sorting out the FMC. So our positioning, we need to actually start up. We need to do a few more things, to be fair. So emergency lights, armed, covered. Uh, all the lights. So we've got the wing. We've got the wheel well. We've got... Uh, that set to the steady and logo. Master caution, disengage. We'll sort that in a second. Seatbelt signs on. Um, and that should be in the middle. Actually, no. It should be set to that. Move over. There we go. Uh, right. Da -da 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 -da. We've done the payload. We've done the fuel. We can now start the rest of this so that's set to auto check uh, autopilots check that they're off man what's going on here frames seem a little bit a bit laggy here waiting for your action man the sound is just completely bitted again isn't it I d I'm not hearing that beep from GSX that annoying <laughs> that annoying beep Right, um, whoa, how come that says open? Right, uh, I don't know what doors he said closing, but I think it was these two. Um, and I don't think we need that back one open either. So, R entry, R forward, yep, they're, they're closed. Cool. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, speed brake, check it's down, check. Cockpit voice recorder, test. I mean, I can't hear these tests, so I can do a fire check, but I won't even hear it. So, yep. I, d I don't know why the sounds bit it. Waiting for your action. Open L entry aft. Oh, I didn't realize the back door had to be open, to be honest. Where's all these passengers, man? Look, there's no stairs there. Like... They're not, them stairs aren't connected, are they? That door. How are they? Yeah, I'd love to see these pilots get on board. How are they gonna... Does them stairs go up to the inner, inner inside of that? Bit weird, isn't it? 
How are you guys going to get on board? Where do them steps lead? Up through... Oh, right, okay. Whatever's. Right, start the flight. Now it's just reset to 120. Thank you. Right. Turn that music down. Right, tell the crew to start boarding. Yeah, ready for boarding, man. Let's, I let's get... Crew, we're ready to get going now, so as soon as you're ready, you can open the doors and start letting the passengers on board. Thank you. Well, the doors are open, mate. Let the passengers on. Don't be blocking them. The doors are open. No problem. Open those doors, man. Yeah. They're boarding. Okay, there we go. I don't know why you said that. Uh, right, let's, let's get this set up, man. We need to sort things out here. Right, um, IRS, that's what needs to be aligned. We haven't even aligned the IRS, man. Right. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this new uh, view. Can't <laughs> bloody see what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> right, there we go. That's, that's going to get aligned. <laughs> okay. Um, right, that's the ILS... What else we got here? Um, it's now setting up, isn't it? So we are at Bravo, Indigo, Kilo, Foxtrot. And we're at gate five. And so we'll take that one. There we go. Um, now. So... B, Bravo, Indigo, Kilo, Foxtrot, uh, Kilo, Alpha, Tango, Lima. There we go. That's the company route. Right. Um, what runway did they say we were taking off from? Runway 10. Clear. One, zero. Dude, I haven't even set the payload for this plane. That's a burn, isn't it? Quickly do that. Like, I've set the random coach thing, but the weight... I still haven't put that in. Right, our payload is 36.7. Um, oh, that, that'll do. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Back over here. Uh, flight number 7378. Guys, it's going to be a miracle if I can get this bird going in time. 7378, activate. Uh, right, ref page. Uh, please use the refueling system of your aircraft to refuel. Dude, I've already refueled. Why is it still crying about refuel? It should that refuel should have already happened by now. Honestly, come on, man, sort yourselves out. Give it to me now. Right, fuel zero fuel weight. We've got uh, one two eight point six. Eight point six. Reserves, we have... Hi there, we are pretty much ready to go up here. Uh, we've got the load sheets on board, so once everyone's on board, please uh, feel free to close the doors. And uh, we can get going. Lovely, mate, lovely. Cost index of eight. Okay, great. We're all next done. Altitude today is 35,000 feet. So guys, today's stream is a two-parter. We know when we get to so far in the cl in the cruise, um, I'll basically end the stream and then bring it back later on when we're coming in to descend. So we won't be I won't be streaming the entire day, uh, the six hour flight because I just think that'll be boring. People just like do you know what I mean. Um, so it'll be a we'll catch it up later today, like when we you know. But there's already a problem here. Look at that. What's the issue, man? 
We're departing in 22 minutes. Start your VA flight, eh? Oh, that's already happened. Plane looks amazing. Can't wait to get up there. Glad it's not raided. Look at that, eh? Um, show current crew report. Crew not seated. Crew not secured. Cabin not secured, rather. What's this here? What? Please close the doors. Yeah, close them doors, man. Doors locked. Cross check. Let's close them doors, man. Doors. Uh, are they, though? No, they're not. They're not all on board. They're still coming on board. They're not all on board, man. So, but we can shut... Uh, the cargo doors, I think. And they finished loading the cargo, yeah. So well, let's load the... Uh, the cargo, shut them doors. Shut that, there we go. Close. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the aircraft this morning. My name is Steve. I'm your pilot today, along with First Officer David and your senior flight attendant, Alana. She, along with the rest of the crew, will be making our way around the cabin, making sure you're comfortable and ready to get us on our way. We're not actually anticipating any delays, so we should be arriving on time. Um, we've just heard the guys on the ground have finished loading the final bit of luggage into the aircraft, so we should be on our way very shortly. We are just waiting to receive clearance to push back in taxi. Um, if you can help the cabin crew by getting yourselves sat comfortably with seatbelts fastened, that would be fantastic. Once we're airborne, we'll be starting our in-flight services, but for now, I'd like to thank you for choosing to fly with us today, and I hope you enjoy the flight. Thank you. We'll see flaps. Five. Yeah, see your asses down, folks. Motherfuckers. Right, 5.98 on the old trim. Man, what's going on here? The frames have just... I think it's because I've got so much running. Right, uh, departure now. Let's sort that out. Departure. Uh, we are departing runway 10. And we're departing using the RAL 048. Or is it B? 4B? Okay, whatever. No transition. Put that in there. Okay. Um, where is it? I'm trying to find. Yeah, take off. Here it is. This is it. So, need runway Whoa, one zero. Slash. The wind today is blowing 10 knots. 10 knots. Oh my gosh. My gosh. Zero, one, zero. Good. It's all the tens today. Look at that. Runway 10, 10 knots of wind. Ba boom, boom. Right, there we go. Take off speeds, sets. There we go. That's that set. Right, we'll sort out the rest when uh, when things are ready. We're waiting for the ILS to align, really. We can't move until that aligns. Right, what have we done? Um, we've entered in all the FMC stuff. Let's start the uh, pumps, get that going. Pump one, start that. Um, APU, start that. I'm not used to sitting in this seat here. Um, auto gen switches. Activate them to voltmeter set to the APU. Oop, there we go. And then we're just waiting for them them gens. You know. Um we'll turn that music off in a minute. Alright, we'll disconnect the Right, so that's that. 
Just waiting for the ILS to align, really, basically. Uh, close the doors. The door is still open. Oh, yeah, we were waiting for the... Right, that's all doors secured. Check. That's that set. Right. Pretty sure uh, things will get better. Take the mic out of your mouth, Steve. Hey? Is my microphone really loud? Man, I'm not that close to it. It's fine. The levels seem fine. They're in the yellow. I mean... Steve Boo, Steve? Right. Then the departure. Um, fuel pumps. Turn them on. Hydraulics, turn them on. Um, collision light, turn that on. Let's get permission to push back so that's that's set and ready. Ground VCC 7378, quest start up and push back. VCC 7378, start up and push back approved. Packs off. Roger, VCC 7378. Idle cut, check that. Make sure that's, yep. Yeah. Right, just waiting for this ILS then. As soon as that's aligned, we're good to go. And when I don't have sound in the sim, it is so painful. It's 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 not a good flight because I can't bloody hear anything in the cockpit. I feel like I'm mute. Is this ILS aligning or what? Two minutes, man. Customers are kicking off. This is my first flight as a trainee first officer, guys. It ain't going well. Oh, no, hang on. I can hear that outside. Oh, no, that's that's a different map. That's not P3D. Is there any way to restart P3D sound once it bites it? I wonder if I actually load the scenario from that save point, which is literally, like, seconds ago. Yeah, let's... I'll tell you what. Let me save it, and then I'll load it. I mean, this will be interesting. So we'll call this test two. All right, so it's literally been saved at this point. So if I load it now from that point on, oh, it's raining now, look at that. So test two, if I load it from here, it should bring it, everything back in. Like these will, hope these will get nuked, but hopefully they'll come back. Hopefully we won't get disconnected. And while we're doing that, while we're waiting for that, we'll set this up. So, we're taking off from runway 10. We're departing from the Rallo 4B. This always comes up whenever Pro ATC decides my flight plan. I don't think they do good ones. I mean, look at that. What is that? Taking off, coming back. What, what's all? I don't know. So, that's that one. So that's, that's the way we're going. Why are we going, like, look at this. Why are we going to England? Look at, oh, I mean, that's mental. Who's put that in? <laughs> that's pro ATC, that is. But we don't, we're not going that way at all. There's, in fact, there isn't even, oh, my life. Do you know what? Clear that route. i tell you what I got. I got this flight plan from pro ATC. Unload that. I chose pro ATC's one here. I'm going to go for the original. There you go. Look at that. Now, if I watch this, if I load in Pro ATC's version. Look at that. Mental. But on Pro ATC's map, it doesn't have that. It doesn't do that. I don't know why. It's. To be honest, guys, as soon as I come out of flight school, um, when we go into the career mode, I will be on VATSIM entirely so we won't have to worry about that at all there we go right so that's better so this is our flight today guys we're taking off from iceland coming all the way down here down here all the way down here through new york all the way down to georgia we're going to atlanta georgia atlanta baby so i mean we could start thinking about our approach but i think what i'm going to do 
is I'm going to leave that up to ATC. I mean, right now they're telling me I'm on runway 9. ILS 9. So we could probably do that now, actually. ILS 9. There's an L and there's, there's a left and there's a right. And they've got us on the left. So transition is uh, hurry. Hurry? Well, none of the, they don't exist. Oh, there is no transition. Okay. So uh, I guess final. I don't know. Arrival uh, is the hurry. No. That that was the transition, sorry. I thought it was approach transition. Right, so... <sighs> Arrival is the H hurry, that one. With the on delay, that's it, basically. There we go, That that's our approach. I mean, that's interesting. Where's the runway? That's the runway. Yeah, that's the go around. Okay. So that's our flight. That's our route. So let's uh, get up the airport information. Um, so there's that. So I don't. I don't even know what gate we're at, to be honest. But yeah, follow me, car. We'll sort that out. And let's bring up the charts for our approach. Runway. There we go. Dude! Now, why am I going forward? Why am I going forward? Look at this. I mean, what is going on? Right. Load up a state. Cold and dark it. Execute. Order 66. It's raining. We've got sound. Brilliant. Bleed switch is on. Check. Baggage handling is complete oh. and the aircraft is clear, sir. Right, okay, mate, thank you. I'll sort that out in a second. Um, and then sh switch it to the APU. And then we'll go and shut the doors. Well, we can't shut these doors because people are still boarding, but we can shut the cargo doors. Which means we're gonna have GSX crying like a little bitch for the next five minutes until no one's on board. Oh, dude, we're ready for boarding. I thought Thank they you were. Crew. We're ready to get going now. So as soon as you're ready, you can open the doors and start letting the passengers on board. Thank you. Captain's voice. Turn that down again. No problem. So yeah, I thought they were already boarding. To be fair. Thought they were already boarding. I can't close that door. Um, I might be able to close that one actually. But I, I can't close the forward one because then it'll recognise that I've closed it on here. So hopefully, close. Hopefully that will calm GSX down. Right. What else we got? APU has been started. Let's kill the ground connections then. Mm -hmm. Boom. There we go. Ground connections done. We're squawking. We did set the squawk, didn't we? One, three, two, seven. Um, altimeter was. Uh, what was the altimeter, man? One zero ten. There we go. Set. Your examiner is watching you. <laughs> yeah, man. Right. Uh, Departure's been sorted. Um, fuel pump. That's right. Let's get ready for engine start. Oh, I've already turned that on. But I. Okay. Um, right, let's get re permission. How long have we got left on this? Two minutes left before the IRS is aligned. Let's get permission to push back. 
ground gate at Chris 6179 request start up and push back. Genix 6179 start up and push back approved. Roger, e x 6179 Push back approved. Oh yeah, baby. So... I have to set that up, haven't I? Yeah, why is that all? Yeah. Okay. Um, we, well, we might as well do our arrival then if um, we they already know it. Because, uh, as I say, they got us coming on a nine left. With the oh, the, they haven't got that information now. They did have it before, which I believe was this one, Andre. But yeah, oh. well, we'll put the runway in. We'll do the rest later. Um, right, this is going to align any second now, and then we can start those engines. Um, did I turn off the, yeah, turn them off, turn off the packs, ready for engine start, um, fuel control switches, definitely make sure they're, yep, yeah, idled, flaps five, how's it do that, flaps five, yep. Yeah. Right, come on, mate, a line. 73 passengers remaining. It's it's now 8 o'clock. We've got 30 minutes before takeoff. That's a line. Booyaka shack. We've just got to wait for these passengers now. But we've got 30 minutes, so that's fine. Although I think we're supposed to have departed within 5 minutes of requesting it. Are we? We've got altitude restriction... Uh, no, we haven't. No restrictions. That's cool. I like it. We set the Q and H. Dudes, we're just waiting for these passengers. Um, we were, we were cleared to uh, seven thousand. We are pretty much ready to go up here. Uh, we've got the load sheets on board, so. Everyone's on board, please uh, feel free to close the doors and uh, we can get going. Brilliant. Okay, great. We're all missed on. Why are there microphones just so over 53 passengers left and then we get going? So, yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, um, you know, this is the six hour flight, my seventh exam, uh, landing rating minus 250 or better when we land. What's the weather like outside? Well, it's not too bad. Clouds. Bit overcast, isn't it? Get ready for a promising future. Who's that there? Dude, there's somebody in there. What's that? Ah, what's wrong with their face? I guess it looks like a spitting image. One of those spitting image characters, didn't it? Look at that. That's so weird. Ugh, freaky. Yeah, we're all good to go. We're just waiting. So, yeah, this is Iceland, guys. This is the uh, Keklavak Icelandic uh, airport. We're the only ones here, by the looks of it. Two passengers, come on, get them on. There we go, please close the doors, damn straight. Oh, what am I doing? Get that door closed. Sorted. Right, turn that music off. Bloody rubbish. Hello, this is your captain's. Oh. Interrupt the captain. Thank you. Hello, 
Gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to Iceland. We'll be taking off in a moment and uh, we'll be traveling to Atlanta, baby. And if you want to play the slots in Atlanta, feel free. And um, we hope you enjoy our, your flight on jet2.com. That's it, guys. <laughs> That's my first announcement. Okay. Real chops. As you may have noticed, we've now closed the doors and expect to be departing in just a few moments. If you could get yourself seated and secured while we get ready for pushback, it would be most appreciated. If you require any assistance from the cabin crew, please press the button above your head and be sure to listen to the safety briefing that we'll be playing in a few moments. You'll hear from me again once we reach our cruising altitude, but for now, once again, welcome aboard and thank you for flying with us. Dude, it's ice warnings. We just had an ice warning. We've had to be the ice. Guys, what's that all about? We've had to de-ice. We've had to ask for de-icing because it's that chilly. What is the temperature? Where do you find the temperature on the FMC, guys? Minus 54 degrees. Outside. What? I mean, it is Iceland, but what? Minus 54 degrees. Is it seriously minus 54 out here? Because I don't see any snow or ice, like. Here it comes. The icer. Oh, there's a plane. I have a feeling that's here, though. There's no plane in the sky, is there? There's no planes anywhere. Oh. Two of them. We're going to get de-iced, guys. Here we go. The temperature is on your front panel. The temperature's on my front panel. Where's that, mate? Let's start the clock. Um, temperature's on my front panel. Uh, not seeing it. Is that it here? Break prep PSI that. Not seeing a temperature reading. Hello, Captain. Is that it Entry there? Parking brakes are set, please. Confirm that that it. Is ready Plus, to that's it there, isn't it? Or is that the engine? Oh, look at this. What fluid type are we using for de icing? I'll say t fluid type 2. Um, 50%, yeah. Starting de icing treatment now. Here we go, we're getting de-iced, guys. Anti-icing code is 2. 50% concentration. I'll call you back when de-icing procedure is complete. Okay, you do that, mate. Is it started, like, so I don't see anything happening. Oh, here we go. Uh, I've never seen this happen before. Come back! Oop, knocked the engine starter lever. Dude, look at that! They're de-icing our, tr our, our truck, our plane. <laughs> That's so weird, man. Everybody on board's going, wow, look at that. Oh, hang on, what's this here? Is that door open? Dude, there's a door open here. Whoa! I closed all my doors. How come there's a... That's a liability, isn't it? Dude, I closed all the doors. All the doors are closed. Ah. Missed that one. Dude, it's a good thing. That we had to... <laughs> Imagine that. Right. Imagine that. That must be the temperature, innit? Or is that the engine temperature? Anti icing and de icing completed. Brilliant. Anti icing code is two. Okay. 50% concentration. Disconnecting now. Uh, have a good flight. Okay. What about the pushback? We go for that pushback again.
Where's the pushback? Dude, we're stuck at the gate here without pushback. Uh, we have icing conditions at the moment. I'll clear you for engine start when the push is complete and oh, ready. Okay. It, that is the temperature. Okay. Cheers, Clive. What? He always goes, uh. Right, it's two minutes past nine in Iceland. Parking brake is set, Squire. Right, we've done the chocks. He's starting to push back. We're going to start engine. Lock in the gear. Engine two first. How's he doing? He's down there somewhere. Uh, which way we were going to go? Uh, we're going to go no right. Uh, tank is in position, bypass pin yeah. is inserted. Vehicle's now clear, ready to push. Definitely knows right. Now release parking brakes, please. Parking brakes released. Clear behind, commencing push. Commencing push. Uh, we have icing conditions at the moment. What? I'll clear you for French and start when the push is complete and brakes are set. Okay. Can't start my engines yet. Uh, there's that weird person again. And they're following us. Scary. Yeah. Alright, we're, get, we're getting pushed back then and starting the engines. Okay. Cabin crew, please arm doors, thank you. Yeah, cabin crew. Warm them doors. I think um, I'm going to turn my FMC on and all that jazz. Oh, the flight director, sorry. I haven't even been given permission to start the engines, mate. <laughs> What's going on? Can I start my engines, dude, or what? Start engines first. Well, he hasn't said start. I've been. Oh, whatever. Starting the engines. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm, this airport don't know what it's doing. He tells me, we're going to push you back, mate, then you can start. Like your engines, like I'm waiting for that confirmation. Start your engines, but then they're like, "Well, we're waiting for you to tell us when your engines have started, mate." A simple, okay, sir. Start your engines now. Would have done me. That that that's all. Right, that's that started. Introduce the fuel into that. anti-collision on. Should have done that before. Wait for that Ladies to and gentlemen, welcome aboard. We ask that you please fasten your seatbelt at this time and secure all Dude, pumps aren't even on. Seat or in the overhead compartments. Oh, what's going on here? We ask that your seats and table trays are in the upright position for takeoff. We serve no fall personal electronic devices including laptops and cell phones. Smoking is prohibited for the duration of the flight. Thank you for charging us. Enjoy your flight. Yeah, I've missed something here. That snapped yet. Yeah. Right, okay. Going with the second engine. I missed. Right. Snapping back. There we go. The 
got a damper on. Oil temp's good. It's all good. Went for the snap. There we go. There's a snap. We got a good engine start. Right, so let's start the kill the APU. Put that onto Gen. APU off. Um, packs back on. Uh, Pito heat probes on. Anti ice on. Your damper. Flaps are set. Check. Speed brakes. RTO'd. Uh, taxi lights on. Check. Right, let's get permission to go to the runway. Tcast. T cast test pass. Pass cast right, transponder set. Check. Right then. Left is clear, point is clear, disconnecting now. Have a good night. Thank you very much, Squire. Take care. Right, we're all on board. Right then, let's go runway ten, yeah? So it's six degrees outside, that's what it's saying. Right, taxi uh, checklist. Uh, autopilot set, flight director on. Auto throttle check. Um, indicated airspeed check heading. We'll sort that out the wrong way. Spoilers armed. Check. Right, rock and roll, guys. Here we go. Ooh, hear them engines go. Hey, guys, this is the first flight I've done. Sitting on the first officer's side. It feels so weird. Clock has started. Ten past nine. We're due to take off in 20 minutes. So we're getting off a little bit early. That's good. Drop down from a person. Place the mask over your mouth and nose. Like this. Will the sharps tie 
If you're traveling with children, make sure that your own mask is on first before helping your children. In the likely event of an emergency lighting evacuation, leave your carry on items behind. Life rafts are located below your seat, and emergency lighting will lead you to the closest exit and slide. We ask that you make sure that all carry on luggage is stowed away safely during the flight. While we wait for takeoff, please take a moment to review the safety data card in the seat pocket in front of you. Do you know what? I'm going to turn off completely the uh, extra planes and that because we're not going to need that for that sim, so. I only put it up to 10 today and then down to 5 just because I wanted to see what it was like, but I don't think it helps. Oh, dude. Forgot. I think I've got game mode still on. Oh, no, I haven't turned it off. It's alright. Oh, it's raining. Dude, do you want to speed up a little bit, mate? Although I am going 45 miles an hour, so maybe it's me. I turn the runway lights on. Yeah. Right, here we are. On taxi lights off, position lights to the strobe and ready. Uh, wing light off, and that's it. Here we go. Look at that rock and roll. Here we go, boys. For 80 knots. Eighty knots. Rocking and rolling here. Where's the sound? V1. This should be V1. Rotate. And we're in the air. Positive rate, gear up. Right. 
flaps up. Right, VNAV, LNAV, autopilot on. Climb to what? Uh, sorry, did he say? Take off checklist. Autopilot on check. VNAV now flaps set check. Um, auto turned off check. Spoiler disarmed check. Runway lights off check. Turn off lights off check. Um, anti ice is all set. Altimeter set. That's it. Uh, wheel well lights off. There's Iceland, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to remove the camera now, guys. All right. Get my ugly mug off. There you go. Now you can see the beautiful view without me. Gorgeous, isn't it? Climbing okay. Everything say okay. It's a different perspective on this side, isn't it? It's so weird. Bye bye Iceland. That looks so real. We're apparently cruising at an altitude of 11,000 feet and at the ground speed of approximately 325 miles per hour. Beautiful, man. Beautiful.
absolutely gorgeous. Bye bye Iceland. Bye bye. Everything's going good. Oh, a little cruise boat out there. Shipping vessel. I see it. We're six minutes, like, or maybe ten minutes ahead of schedule. So. Just waiting to ride it out now, aren't we? Nothing else we can do. Set these to flight. Um, oh gosh, altitude. I nearly killed us all. Five zero check. Check. And we're heading up to twenty thousand now. Right. I think. Uh, I think we can put our approach in. Let's have a look at our routes. Stump. Yeah, we need approach. Mm -hmm. Left turn back to land board now. Leave land board heading 275. Speed 50 or not. Left turn to land board 275. Leaving land board and speed 220 or not. one. Thirty nine five nine Bravo. Sorry, we're doing runway nine left. But we weren't having a transition on the approach. Arrival from Hillary. There is no Hillary. Gandalf. <laughs> Hobbit. <laughs> Who wrote these? I mean, there is no Hillary ar arrival. Um, there's an Andre. Yeah, there we go. Runway. Aussie. <laughs> right, it's the Andre 1. Uh, it's runway 9 left. Just gotta be that one. I can't get rid of that. 
a disco. Let me insert that. Oh, hang on. That's why. Alright, that's the disco sorted. Right, we're all good now with our route. That's fine. Let's hope. Pro ATC thing to say. What's that all about? Right. 25,000 feet. Standard set. It's gorgeous up here, guys, isn't it? Look at that. Hey? Gorgeous. Okay, let me uh, bring this in for a second. So, hello, welcome back to... This is the landing part. This is the part where we're coming in, taking it in, right? Appreciate all the uh, support. And if you do happen to follow this channel, you're a first-class passenger. What does that mean? That means this is your viewpoint. If you get to sit in a nice, comfortable seat here, you're in the back of the plane, guys. Okay, you're all... I'm, I'm hauling you guys. And we're heading for Atlanta. Right now, I think we're somewhere over uh, Canada, I think. Um, we'll be heading down towards Massachusetts and um, New York, like, within the next hour. Um, in fact, here is our exact position. So, uh, New York is somewhere around here, I believe, or somewhere around here. Um, we are here up in Canada, coming down, and then we'll be heading straight on in to Atlanta. And this is part of the virtual uh, pilot career that I'm doing in flight simulation. So, yeah, basically, we've got the 737 here, and uh, we're flying it, man. Whoa. I saw that lightning. Do you guys see that then? Where am I now? Um, mate, I'm in the 737. <laughs> um, we are right now, we are here. So I think we're in, we're in Canada. And New York is around about here. Like the state of New York is, I think, all here. So it should look, it should start to look really nice when we get to New York. The New York air, but there's a bit of a storm. We're, we're, we're going into a storm right now. So it's, it's going to get choppy, guys. It's going to get choppy. Um, I need to get the uh, thingy version of FSUI's PC. They're clouds, man. Are these clouds, man. They're like towers. Dude, it's lightning all around us. <laughs> We're going to get struck by lightning. Oh, I tell you, don't get... Oh, hello. <laughs> That's it, Thanos has clicked his fingers. Hey, man, it, it, these look like Starship Destroy. Oh, hello. There we go. Bit of a reset on the weather. I guess the thunderstorm's over. <laughs> Gorgeous. So I don't know what river this is. What river? I don't see anything on the. Where do we be important to me? 
be honest, the, the, the visibility from around to the state of New York, it's going to dip down a little bit, evidently. According to Active Sky, there's like a bit of a... Let's go in there. Dude, what's happening? Something's going on here. Um, guys, um, plane. The plane's flying well. The plane's doing okay. I don't need to intercede with the plane. It's doing its thing. Um, it seems to be doing a good job of keeping us in the air. But I don't know, man, it feels a bit. I'm very scared. Engines, were you rolling back? No. Man, we must have a right headwind on this. It's a bit of a bumpy ride today, guys. So yeah, um, the next flight we do, by the way. Where is it? Where's that list? Here we go. So when we land in Atlanta. Um, I think the next time I stream um, will be the world tour, which is a flight, I think we're in Mexico um, or South America. So tomorrow's stream, is it tomorrow? Am I streaming tomorrow? What day are we on today? Wednesday. Yes, I'm streaming tomorrow. So it's the world tour tomorrow. We're flying somewhere around South Africa, I believe it is. Um, and uh, we are in the Fokker 50 claim for that. And then I think the next time I stream is next week. I think it's Monday, the next time I stream, which will be back in the license. We'll be um, going from Atlanta all the way to Hawaii for an eight hour flight. So I'll probably use the 747 because I think it's good. It's gonna be good to be type rated for the 747. Um, and then I'll use that from Hawaii to Australia for the 10 hour flight and then swap it up probably for the 757 because that can do a 12 hour plus journey um, so yeah after three weeks of Microsoft you did two flights in P3T today the A319 Fabian welcome back mate welcome back to P3D everybody do you know what I've seen so many people lately gosh uh, go from Microsoft and go oh yeah this is good and then they just either they're fed up or whatever reason they come back to B3D I think it's because they miss flying proper planes to be honest proper simulated planes dude the clouds down there look at that whoa we're in a right thunderstorm here hey look at this man you don't get this with the true sky do you Hey, this is a thunderstorm we're flying through. Help! I'll put the uh, ground radar on. Data, is that on? Yeah, data is on. life. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Look at that. Hey, gorgeous. Now I much prefer the uh, realistic satellite data down below than the made-up stuff. 
I know this is a bit lighter in color, so, but it's so much better when you know that these are the real roads, that's the real stream, real buildings down there, real everything, other than a simulated version of it, isn't it? So this is the state of New York, and then I think we uh, hit Pennsylvania after this. Which, uh, I've never actually flown in Pennsylvania before. It's quite interesting to see that.
fact, it's saying I need to have descended already to 33,000. Right, well, let's, let's ask for uh, initial descent. Oh, Descending down to 340, boys. Okay. Um, so I'll just, we've got to wait for that altimeter to adjust to 18,000. And I'm not even going to bother with the speed brakes, but I will arm them. Uh, actually, no, I don't have to yet. Don't have to yet. We're all good. This is it, boys. Everybody in the back's been waiting for the last like forty minutes. Like, when are we descending? Cosa eight two five, climb to flight level two nine zero. Climb to nine zero, climb to eight two five. Here we go. Eight two five, climb to flight level two nine zero. Climb to nine zero, climb to eight two five. Eight two five, climb to flight level two nine zero. Climb to nine Hang on, how come they haven't said anything about the descent? Dude, there is no top of descent. It's gone. Right, we need to uh, flight level 270 now. I'm going to have to request altitude here. Channing, two, nine, oh, here we two, go. Three, this is it. Flight level two, four, zero. There we go, that's what I'm waiting on. 240, two, roger three. that, mate. Roger Dodger. Oh, look at them clouds. So gorgeous. Lovely. Hey Sean, how's it going mate? You had to pop out for a bit, what do you miss? Absolutely nothing. We are descending now though, so you've come back just in the nick of time. Alright bud, we're coming in now. We're descending down into Georgia. We're a high above it, above these clouds, these beautiful clouds. Fluffy white. Do you see VNAV selected? Yeah, it's, uh, well no it's not really, but they've descended me down to 24,000 so if I select VNAV um, that's going to take me to only down to 27,000 so although I mean we've still got quite a while to go so I'm just going to leave it off VNAV for a moment and then put it back on later we've got an altitude restriction of 13,000 as well coming up so I don't think they know about that let's have a quick look at our uh so we are let's see where are we um, top of descent. What is this? That's the Hillary Way So two, nine two, we're somewhere three, around about here. Atlanta, on one thirty four so what? Is there any restrictions? Thirteen thousand. Atlanta. Let's see anything. Two, nine, two, three. With you passing flight level three zero zero for flight level two four zero. Two, nine, two, three, with you passing flight level three zero zero for flight level two four zero. Roger. Does this simulate the actual flight times? Yes, it does. It's a one-to-one -one simulation, so everything is done just like it would be in the real world. You know, um, even passengers, like if that add-on of mine was working, but it's it's not at the moment. So, but yeah, real time. Everything's real. Everything you see here is what the pilots will be doing in the flight deck when you're on board a plane on a 737. So if you if you if I start screaming, that's what they'll be doing. <laughs> right now we're just descending down, twenty nine thousand feet. We're going about two fifty, which is all good. It's all good in the hood. 
we've been we've been allowed to go down 24,000. Right? Flight level 24,000. So we're going down. So could you fly a plane in real life? Um, I can fly a Cessna in real life. I'm confident in my um, skills that I could actually, yes, fly a real Cessna. Fly a 737? Uh, probably not. Um, there are certain things in this plane which I don't think are fully simulated or there are certain things that are automated so they are simulated but I don't have to worry about them whereas I think you do in the real plane I don't think flying this plane you could just jump into a 737 and start flying away um, but it's it's about I would say 90% close to doing it Captain AJ at your suit <laughs> Oh, you can't see me. I was, I was doing the old pilot salute then. <laughs> I just realized the camera's not on. You can't see me. Two, nine, two, three. One right, roger that. So... Three oh one five in the old altimeter. What was it? 15,000, he said. 15,000. Descending down. I'm going to turn VNAV on now because we will descend appropriately. Um, it's a bit early to do altimeter to be fair. 3015. I've got to remember that though. 3015 when it, when it comes to it. 99.9% is .9 simulated in the PMDG aircraft. Captain Clive says. that say back rest must be in normal flight position when seat is I mean to be honest we only have to go down to 15,000 so that's fine I'll do 22 uh, miles to do that yeah I'm pretty sure well, so uh, what else can we do uh, well nothing really we're waiting for the old 18 foul. The aircraft is out of range because the total amount of fuel is not sufficient. Yeah, it does say we're low on fuel, doesn't it, Clive? Um, and any contingency plans that go around, diversion. Yeah, we haven't got any. There is no go around, Clive. There can't be a go around. We haven't got the fuel for go around. We basically, we've got just under 2,000 pounds of fuel left, like in terms of the distance we can travel. I mean, we have got 3,000 pounds left on, but that's split between two tanks, and they're burning equal amounts, so... We are going to be short. Engines are going to cut down, like, 200 uh, pounds worth of distance before we get to our destination. So, really, I can't... I can't be burning any extra... Do you know what? I'm turning on the APU now. Um, we're going to do an APU startup now. Because I have a feeling if those engines cut out, I need the battery power. So I'm going to start the APU now. Um, in, you know, so that we have the power when we land. So the APU started. I won't flick over the power um, just yet, but I will start the APU. So, but it's still running off the engines at the moment. But when those cut out, we'll have enough to throw over. There's a low pressure. There's a low oil pressure in one of the. Uh, and we're okay. We're okay for the moment. But I mean, we're we're not we're not that far away from the airport. We'll be on the ground in like 10 minutes. 
So I think we'll be okay. Shattered Confidence. Two, two, three. Turn right, heading to two, Descend to 10,000. Well, dude, we've got a altitude restriction here at 13, but okay. 10,000. Anyone says to turn left? What was that? Turn left? What? I mean, I can't turn left, mate. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, he's got me coming around the other way, yes. I mean, I can't zoom in to see what he's got me doing because this thing's balls off, but he's got, he wants me to turn here and come around that way. To be honest, I mean, that's that goes against my flight plan, but it's a quicker route, so I should really comply with that, shouldn't I? What's my approach that he's got? Uh, he hasn't got an approach for me. Oh, here we go, altimeter. Right, let me set this now. Three, three, one, five, five. Ooh, does that go the wrong way? Yeah. Three, one, five, set. Do you still do photography work? No, I don't anymore. APU will use fuel, will it? Oh, shut that off, then. Yeah, let's turn that off. That's going to use fuel. Just remind me, Clive, to turn it back on when the fuel runs out, okay? Because we need the battery power if we're going to cut out. Right, I might do what he said with the old turn to the right. Um, I might, yeah, I'm going to do a visual, like, heading. What did he say? Turn... I mean, it's not turned to the, what he says now. 225, he said. Alright, trying to save on fuel where I can. So we're coming off the uh, flight plan. And we're going straight to the runway. We're not going to go out above the runway that way, which is probably the better way to do it. But we're just going straight for uh, the thingy now, because yeah, we're still we're at fifteen thousand feet. We've passed that flight restriction now, so that's all good. To be fair, fuel will not run out. You reckon? Clive's got faith. Clive's got faith on us. You will have 2.3 on landing. Well, that's what I figured originally. I thought that, but I can't have 2.3 because that's 1.2. I've only got... Th that means you, you reckon I'm only going to burn 300 pounds of fuel before landing. I don't know. I think I'm going to burn a lot more than that. But to be honest, this is actually going to save fuel coming this way. So... There's no emergency declared just yet. We're fine. We're good. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of hand flying this away from our flight plan now, so but we do need to lose this altitude to be fair. Follow the FMC, you will have 2.3 on landing. Do you reckon, Clive? I mean, if I follow the FMC, my my altitude will be sorted, won't it? Like, I'll, I'll be at the right altitude for um, when I... For when I um, go down to the runway. But I think I'll be at the right height anyway, to be fair. I don't know. You reckon I should stick to the FMC? Right, 10,000 feet. Landing lights on. Turn lights, taxi lights, spoilers are armed, speeds reducing down, engines are revving up. Okay. 
We should be at 9,000 feet by now. Speed's running away, so I think we're going to have to uh, take control of that. Why are we not descending down? Come on. It's going to be an interesting uh, landing, I feel. Start the turn and then descending down to 7,000 feet. Ooh, there's the turn. Bit of a turn now. I feel like we're going a little tad fast, but no, actually, we're going fine. We're on the money. Let's give it uh, some flaps, shall we? Flaps uh, to two. This is where we're going to be coming up to the point where I have to take over. But to be honest, we should still be descending down. So we're going to do that descent ourselves. So uh, speed 185. Don't know why we're not dropping. Oh, because we're right, the VNAV isn't right, okay. Well, we can. Mm. Yeah, I'll put it back on VNAV. That's why we weren't dropping, sorry. We're fine for speed, though. We do, we do. I think slowing down would be helpful. Are you aware that you can bring up a descent profile on the EFIS panel? Um, don't think I am. Is that the approach? Uh, that. Is that what you mean? Click on the center of the knob. Hang on a sec. Let me, uh... I don't know. Do you know what? I, I, I'll, I'll do with, I'll do what you're saying on the world tour flight. I'm, I, I think I'm better just concentrating on what I've got to do here to pass this license. So we'll do, Clive. We'll do that tomorrow on the world tour. Okay. When we get the next, where we get to where uh, the, the next airport on the route, we can trade for a seven, and then we'll do that. So basically, when we turn onto the rain, it, there's a 7,000 altitude restriction there, and we don't get rid of that restriction until the next waypoint, in which case then we start slowly descending again. So, or yeah, we have to be at 7,000. So, 
We're at eight, six now. So we're, uh, we'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. Okay, we're at that altitude now, set by my the FMC, or we're coming up to it rather. When I do put this on, or when I take it off the yell now, um, it'll be for like a minute and then I'll speed slowing. Wind's blowing. <laughs> 17 knots. It's a pretty windy approach. Come on, boys. Come on. We're in Cloud City at the moment. And then uh, we'll come out of that. Okay. Oh, what happened to my uh, heading? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's make that turn. And then sort of sync it up. With that. So we've only got nine more miles at this altitude and then we can actually descend down below 7,000 feet. I guess that's just because of the airport itself. So... Okay. We're back on VNAV now and it should sink us back up to that... Turning us, I think it is. Yeah, it's capturing it. So there we go. We're back on our profile. Uh, 200 knots is what we should be doing, and we're on the VNAV and LNAV, so we're literally going straight down. Um, I will give it another stage of flaps in a second, but before, yeah, it's turning us. So I'm just going to set final time now, and then that'll do, that'll be it. Test 15. And then that way, that's where it'll pick it back up if we do crash on final, which we shouldn't. I'd be very surprised if we did. Right, so that's it now. We are straight into an approach. We are uh, 20 miles away from the airport, so 
good, good. Let's have another stage of flaps. Oh gosh, what was that? Dude, what have I done autopilot? No. Put the autopilot back on, dude. I hit the trim instead, instead of the flap. That's my bad, isn't it? We are back on the autopilot, so yeah, autopilot, autopilot, auto throttle, everything, yeah. Ooh, dude. Okay. So, start descending. Well, any minute now, really. Uh. Because we need to be at 3,000 feet. So, we'll take that down to four now. And the, I never said the speed 165, dude. Uh, we'll keep that at 170. We should start to see the airport. It's about 10, 15 miles away. About 15 miles away. So I should start to see the runway. Which. Is that it? No, that's not it there. It's just up here then, I guess. I thought it'd be close there. Six five. So when we hit the speed of one four three, which is in uh, um, five miles, basically a full flaps, landing gear down. In fact, landing gear probably come down now. Actually, I'm at the airport inside. Is that the runway there? That's the runway right there, baby. Right, landing gear down. Uh, this is uh, uh, 737jet2.com. Coming in and approach uh, runway 9. Uh, permission to land. Thank you very much. Permission granted. That's the landing gear down. Drop the speed down to 150. Height down to 2 grand. We're coming in nicely. Ten miles out. We need to be at five thousand feet, which we are. And then when we hit five that five miles out, we need to be at three thousand feet. Uh, we are on landing on left, weren't we? A second. I mean, we're right on the ball for the landing strip. So, wasn't our land? Wasn't it? We're landing on left. Nine left, wasn't it? Or was it nine right? Nine left. Left is over here, isn't it? Killers out. That's right. That's left. Dude, we're coming in on the right. Or it must be these two rooms. So I think we're landing on this room way here. Yeah, that's left. Yeah, we'll do that. Five mile marker is almost coming in just fine. Right, let's reduce our speed down now to landing speed of 143. Give me flaps 30. I am going to take the reins on this puppy Coming now. So, auto throttle, auto pilot off. I have the plane. Dude, this is the first time I've tried to land it on this side of the uh, on this side of the uh, cockpit. So this should be fun, guys. Three thousand feet were too high. 
43, let's lose some of that height, gain some of that speed. 2500. Okay, uh, approach, final approach, um, spoilers in armed, check, landing gear down, check, flaps set to 30, check, we need, we can have 40 if we need, Ooh, we're strafing, we're strafing, oh the wind, that wind, oh dude, right, I think I need to grab this, oh, dude, this wind, Six. Staying knots here. Oh my god, we're coming in sideways, dude. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the bloody right runway we land at. I can't crab over. Right, final stage of flaps. Flaps. Uh, we're coming in very strong. We're coming in very. It's all right. We're gonna slow right down there, but we are high. We're very high. If we're too high. Dude, this is going to be a fail. I can feel it in my bones already. Okay, get it back on track. Come on in for the touchdown. 1,000. 1,000, continue. Too high, too high. Shut up, bitch. I hate that voice. Which, you know, I've tried disabling that voice on that sort of stuff. Because... Approaching. Zero. Nine. Oh. It just says it anyway. Right, we're coming in. Well, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're too high, but Pappy lights say we're too high. Unstable. Unstable. Right. Coming over to car park. Here we go, guys. It's a bit showy, to be honest. This is a bit on. There we go. Come on, boys. Here we go. Here we go. 100. Yeah. Here we go. Wheels are definitely 50. down. 30. Come on. 20. Come on. 10. Flare. Ah. Oh, that was a bit. Happened all of a sudden, didn't it? There we go. Full reverse. Speed brakes up. Slow is down. That happened all of a sudden, didn't it? I wonder if my elevation data just screwed me over. Project Fly say about that. Minus. Oh. oh. What do we say? Where is it? Minus 284. 284. That is a fail. By 30. That is a. That's a. That's a. I need to go. I need to. Offline, I'll have to do this trip again. Right. right we're coming off to the right. Spoilers up. Flaps up. Fuck. I think I should have gone to the left, to be fair. Right, let's uh, stop here. Call GSX to come and get us. Uh, gate. Small gate? Come on. There we go. Come get us, mate. Right. Uh, checklist time. Throttles. Uh, landing lights. Taxi light on. This light on. Turn lights off. Landing lights off. Come on. Landing lights off. There we go. Um, spoilers up. Wheel well light on. Flight director off. Auto brake set off. Uh, 
All the heaters can come off now, so engine anti-ice, wing anti-ice, probes, window heats, uh, APU can be started now. And that's it. Waiting for this follow me car now. Where is he? There he is, he's behind us. He's, he's he's waiting for us on the other side behind us here on the runway. Is he really waiting for me on the runway? Look at him, like a little bitch. Alright, well we're gonna have to go this way. We can't go back on the runway like that. That's, I mean to be fair, we should have come off to the left, I feel on here, but I came off to the right. So we'll come round here, which is not on the runway. And then he'll join us back up at the intersection here. Because I think He's taking us over there to the left. Guys, we made it. We landed it. This is it. We're down. I mean, it it was a tough... It was a rough landing, but it was... To be honest, it's an acceptable landing. You know? Inter it was a very hard landing, but... It was... It, we survived. It's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that landing, but... Unfortunately for my license, I did not make the requirement, but... To be fair... It could have been an elevation data screw up that was the reason why, but I, uh, who knows. At the end of the day, I've got to do this in flight again. I'll do it offline. The next flight we do for the virtual pilot life license will be the eight hour flight. And by that time, um, I'll have already sorted this out. Where is Egon? He's over there now. front of us here and he's not where's he gone dude's just let oh here he is hopefully are you gonna come up in front of me mate because it's you're just gonna sit there here he is come on mate where are you going there he is next time come in front of me mate instead of lurking behind me Don't forget, mate, I'm in, like, the, you know, the 10-ton airplane here, okay? Is that what it was? No, it was something else. The FMC will give you your landing speed. Which it did, 143. Your landing speed was too low. The FMC gave it me. Therefore, your aircraft was falling to the ground rather than being controlled, which was the reason for your bad landing rate. Thank you. Um, what's the word? Not inspector. Um, instructor. Thank you, instructor. I mean, I go... When I come down for a landing, I go by this... Uh, vertical speed indicator and I try and get it close to zero as possible when I'm coming to touch down you know and if I have to pull up a little bit to flare to do that that's what I do I get it to like I try and get it below minus 200 you know? and obviously the landing speed is what I aim to hit when I come in for a landing and again that's what the FMC told me my landing speed was 143 I don't know if that's low or not but I trust the FMC is giving me accurate details. Guys, welcome to Atlanta. This is the Atlanta airport. Very nice. It's barren. I mean, this they still must be in lockdown here. And here we go. Here's our little gate. to come in at this angle here. Here we are. This is us. Swerve it in as you want it. That looks like Victoria that does. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? 
Right, there we go. That's the brakes hit. Uh, taxi lights off. Right, let's start our checklist here. Parking position, parking brake set, checklist down, APU gen switches knocked, check. Uh, APU bleed turn on, check. Um, engine, uh, uh, sorry, um, AC voltmeter set to the APU, which is here, check. Engine cuts off, check. Um, and then we can open up and hit the ground connections on the FMC. Ground connections, set the shocks, connect us up to with the ground, set the pitot covers, because I don't know if anybody's going to be flying this after. Speed brake. Yep, there we go. Um, ground connections, connect it up to the ground power. There we go, ground power connected. Wheel well lights on, wing, uh, stroke to the steady, anti collision off. Um, APU can be turned off, and so can the APU bleed. And hydraulics can all go off now. And the fuel pumps. And I believe that is it. And seatbelts can obviously. There we go. Your damper off. And there we go. That's that's it. We're here. Um. We made it, guys. Boom. There she is. Oh, we didn't open the doors. Rip me. Need to open the doors for the passengers to get off. We actually have got passengers on. I forgot about that. Open up all the doors. And uh, operate jetway. And passenger deboarding. Request that. And there we go. The... Uh, the gate will come up and attach itself and the passengers will start getting off the plane that we've actually got on board here. And here we are, Atlanta baby. Lovely airport, isn't it? All that glass work over there. Gosh. A lot of empty parking spots, isn't there? And how many terminals do they have here? One, two, three, four, five terminals? Well, that's cargo. This is FedEx. Not bad, isn't it? And there we go. Guys, there we go. My life, eh? Guys, what do you say? Eh? That's the checklist done on Friday. But we're going in the 747. So, Queen of the Skies on Friday, guys. Yes. Just remembered. Right, anyway, I'm heading off now. That's enough. Um, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching and see everybody tomorrow. Take care.